we're just gonna dive into this today. And we're gonna go until I get stumped. So let's see how this goes. Generally it goes, I don't know, I'm actually, I've, I've been doing fairly well with this, give or take. Oh, yes, we need to have a conversation. Someone in this room, we won't say who, has been abusing their printing privileges. They're printing personal holiday cards. Photos of themselves standing in front of the bathroom mirror. Excerpts from some sort of fan fiction novella. They're clearly lonely. Yes, we need to learn to li- Oh. Um. Yes, we need to learn to limit our printer usage. And not print like we're trapped in some sort of infinite loop. As if data can be copied infinitely. Or indefinitely. Yes. Please work through our printing mindfulness assignment. I'll just leave the pamphlet's instructions over there. Okay, so we need to increase our awareness about our printing. Each worker must print exactly five data cubes and place them anywhere on the floor. And really think about the impact of each one. Okay. If... Okay, if Mem1 is less than if it's less than 5 uh, Let's see, nearest Nope, oh, it's nearest printer. So Mem2 no, we don't want to pick up. We want to take take from nearest printer. And we don't have nearest empty space. M2. Then step. We want to step in any direction. If what they're standing on is nothing, drop. Otherwise, jump. Okay. Oh, uh, we want to drop and we also want to do calculate. Mem plus one. Nope, that's mem plus mem one. Okay, there we go. That way we just iterate it up, then we jump to the top of the list, and then otherwise, they just end. Alright, that's probably not gonna work. Oh, it's if greater than, I messed that up. Alright, there we go. There we go. Easy enough. Nine or fewer commands. Nope. But my average time was good. So I'll call that close enough. Alright. Printing etiquette. Drinking etiquette. Here we go again. Yes, it appears our polite printer printing pamphlet was out of date in the previous assignment. And we wa wasted 25 data cubes. Please enjoy your updated assignment. Go copy the solution from your previous assignment and paste it here. Once again, each worker must print exactly five data cubes, but this time each worker must label their cubes one through five. Oh, well that's mad easy. Okay. Take time over program size. It varies. If I remember right, this is the... Honestly, like, complete opposite of what I did in Opus Magnum. Not that that's necessarily a bad thing. Oh jeez, this game looks like it could get complicated. I mean, programming in general can be absolutely complicated. Okay, so all we need to, we need to do when we do this is take from... We want to write... Let's set memory three is equal to one. Okay, so we want to write mem3 and then iterate mem3 mem3 plus one. That should work. It 
it's a little bit slower in this case. Because they do all their calculations there. Okay, they screwed up somehow. Why? Where's the... This is the jump to the beginning thing. Whereas this is just the jump to the top. Okay. Oh, that's weird. Huh. That's cool looking. Y'all just handed me a prototype Wonderbot button. Looks nice. Okay, so I've done something wrong. Let's just watch this character. Okay. So she's here. She just picked up the thing. So she's gonna... Oh. I'm a moron. Plus one. There we go. There's our answer. I just saw the one and I'm like, well, there we go. That's good enough. I'm, uh... I'd say I'm a little bit scatterbrained. Whenever I have to go outside and it's, like, above 90 degrees, I pretty much am just, like, mildly zonked for the rest of the day. That's just life for me. Okay, so... Not nearly as fast. There's probably a better way of doing it, but that's okay. Yeah, I didn't even notice that I had set it to Mem 1 because I was... I was brain elsewhere. Anyway, happy birthday to me. How nice. I was sent a birthday image from my bank. But it's a secure image, and they encrypted it. Now I have to figure out how to view it. Yes, I'll just log in here to my secure online banking portal and verify my security questions. And type in the security code they sent to my mobile device. And type in my f previous four addresses and accept the updated terms and conditions and agree to the paperless communication and navigate the tutorial on how they recently slightly redesigned one of the buttons on the website and decline a credit card offer and decline another one. Okay, here we go. Here's how to view your birthday image. An image of a lady here with a big hairdo says, it's so easy. They say we have to move each cube to the left, the number of tiles listed on each cube. Once that's com complete, my personal birthday greeting will appear. Oh boy, I can't wait. Okay, pick up, left. Set, mem1 equal to my item. Step, mem1, no. Okay, so we can't just have that be a number. Well, that's fine. Okay, so if... No. If mem is equal to zero... Oh. There's no end here. Okay, move each data cube to the left of the no uh to the left, the number of tiles listed on each cube. Okay. Drop and step two. Hole. Mem2 will be whole. Oh, we already have the step command. Step two hole. Otherwise. Else. Step left. Okay, get rid of this. And we want to do calc mem1 equals mem1 minus 1. Right? I think that should work. Okay, let's start with you. So it's five. Five minus one is four. Four minus one is three. Oh. Or maybe that is right. Okay, five minus one is four. Three. Two. One. Yeah, it is right.
I think that's right. Because, oh, it's a, yep, it is. All your workers have died. What? What? Wait. Since this is an important birthday message is private, all workers must then exit the room by stepping into one of the conveniently placed infinite pit holes. But... What? Hold... Yeah, of course they died! You told me to! Um... All workers must then exit the room by stepping into one of the conveniently placed infinite holes. Yeah, I don't think we need to recalculate. Because it doesn't say the nearest one, just one of them. No, it says all workers. Okay, I gotta look this up. And you guys are along the ride, uh, the ride for this one. Uh, jeez, what year is this one? I don't want to look at any, any other ones. Okay, so image decryptor, year 41. So... Oh, I bet it needs to be one more over because you pick it up from one block away. Let me double check that. You might be right about that. Move each data cube. Okay. Step left. Pick up what they're standing on. Okay. So, it was just... It was just mildly wrong. It's not that the people need to survive, it's that I didn't have them placed in the right direction. Yeah, there we go. That's what it was. I'm surprised about someone hasn't complained about wandering us using a guide yet. I actually haven't. I looked at that one and it was impossible to part any parse anyway. Like, I, I straight up... Uh, here, let's close it. I, I haven't been actually using a guide, and I'm on display capture, so you can tell if I am using one. But no, in that case, it was literally just, um, I, I wasn't actually moving the, um, I wasn't actually moving the cube over enough. And so the error message that all of my people have died was actually erroneous. Uh, because it wasn't that all the people had to live through it. It was that they needed to move it over one more time, but the game wasn't sophisticated enough to know, you know, oh, you goofed that versus goofed this. It makes sense. Okay, so, important email organization. Good, we are in fact recording. Oh boy. Welcome to my email inbox. Yes, each of these cubes on the floor represents one of my important emails. Your other boss said she should, uh, she would help me organize them. She very nicely made ten folders for me down there at the bottom. She labeled them zero to nine. And she said, we need to sort my emails into these 10 folders. For example, emails with a number from 20 to 29 go into the two folder. Emails with a number from 70 to 79 go in the seven folder. Emails with the number zero to nine, okay, got it. I don't really understand email, but I'm lucky to have such a good friend. Okay, thanks for your help, guys. Oh. Okay. Do not pick up the labels 0 to 9 directly above each shredder. They will explode. Okay. So, data cubes must be sent to the shredder labeled 0. 0 to 9, shredder 0, 10, okay. Huh. Okay. If you're standing on a data cube and below you 
is not a shredder. Pick up. Set mem1 equal to my item. Now, how do we sort it? We'll probably walk down. Oh. Set. Or, er, no, it's not set. It's nearest. Nearest wall. That way they'll just come back to this. Probably. Okay, so. Set mem1. Okay. This looks very mean. Huh. I could write a function that would effectively relabel them. No, they took away my write command. Okay, so I can't do that. Because what I was what I was going to do was actually um I was going to have a function, you know, if you're, if the cube they're holding is between 10 and 19, just write it as 1, and then go find the matching cube, but that's not going to work. Okay, so they pick up the item. So, in that case... If down is equal to, is not equal to a shredder, step down. Or maybe, maybe we could do this. If down is equal to a shredder, and they're standing on a data cube, or my item is crap. Yeah, how do we do that? I mean, we could have one hell of a function, you know, if, nope, if my item is greater than, greater than equal to 10, uh, do we want to do that? We could. Effectively, what we could do is just set my, uh, set memory 3 equal to 1. God, this is going to be... This is going to be huge. Because I could do this. Eff effectively, all we need to do is just have a, a separate function to but it feels so brute forcey. Is there no better way of doing this? I don't think so. All right, brute force it is. Because I, I, I honestly can't think of. Uh... Or. Wait. Maybe I can. Instead of setting this, mem2 is my item, calculate, calculate, uh, calc mem2 divided by 10. Okay, so that'll boil it down. I don't know if this game does fractions, but that's fine.
Okay. Step down. If... If direction left is... No. If direction down is a shredder and direction left or no, what you're standing on is greater than mem2 or less than mem2 Step left? No, step right. Because if you're here and it's it's less than, then you want to go over here. Else. I'm just going to have a bunch of conditional ifs here. If direction down is not a shredder, step down. And that way they will loop until they get to this point. Then, if they're at a shredder, and what they're standing on is less than M2, they'll go to the right. Elsewise, oops. Elsewise, they'll go to the left. And down, apparently, for reasons. Okay. Else if... To the left if to the left is less than mem2 and to the right is greater than mem2 give two down uh, step two mem1 and jump back to the beginning. We might need a uh, nearest thing as well. Otherwise, step left and jump to the beginning of this function. This ain't gonna work. Yeah, okay. So we gotta give them an, an immediate command to, I guess we need another memory address here. Nearest data cube. And that's gonna be mem3. So nearest data, data cube. And then step to mem3. Uh Oh. And down is not a shredder. There we go. Okay, so they don't do they don't do decimals. And I probably got this part of this wrong. Okay. Well, that's fine. Got to learn by doing. Okay, so she picks up a 2, which divides down to 0. Oh. Messed that one up. Because we didn't actually write that there. Okay, step to mem1, if mem2, mem2. Yeah, mess that one up. Okay, so mem2 is now 8. So she's going to look for the 8. Section. What are you doing? Okay, hers is 0. Okay, how about this? If... What you're standing on 
is equal to, and let's let's delete this one. Give to step. Because, yeah, we don't need the, the less than on either side because it rounds. As far as I can tell, it will round everything down. Okay, they will move past each other. Just very slowly. Okay, what's wrong with you? She fell off the command somehow. Maybe just put that there. Okay. So that... Oh. Okay, we had a casualty. And I'm not really sure why. We should probably slow this down. Why are they killing themselves? Maybe it's because they both went for the same one? Yeah, why did he do that? It, it must have been because the one guy already grabbed it. Maybe we need, like, a catch-all command if they can't pick something up. Because, like, it's going to get done. They're just going to kill themselves first. Yeah, because she, because he grabbed hers. Uh, they die. Okay. Well, that's not great. And we fail a bunch. Well. Okay, so it's mainly this. I think what we want to do is just chuck a... Oh. Maybe we need just a catch-all jump command. If if they can't pick something up, because otherwise they just keep going down the uh, down the list. Okay, so yeah, better way to do this, I'm sure. But whatever. Okay, so this way, if they don't pick something up, they find the next nearest one and try again. And yeah, they're not dying this time around, so we're good. Uh-oh. Okay, that was interesting. So, somebody got stuck, and I don't know why. Oh, it's because this is the catch-all case. If the nearest data cube is next to the shredder, they just sit there. I could put in another... Else if... You're standing on a data cube. And down is a shredder. Uh, step two, mem one. And end. Okay, so that should work. So instead of, instead of blocking it this time around, the, the last iteration before this one, they just kill themselves if they, if they couldn't get a spot and it would complete eventually. Um, but that wasn't great. This one, on the other hand, they'll just go hang out near the wall if they can't figure anything else out. So it cranks it up, but I don't care. At least we're succeeding. <laughs>